Right, if you watched my last video, you would have seen a quick preview of this tool here, this new homemade tool, and this is my 24 volt handheld compound slide drive tool. And you would have seen me machining this angle on the Myford ML7 using this tool and getting this excellent finish. The tool has a variable speed and it also works forward and reverse and it can be used for fast roughing out um, of angles like this and then the um, finish turn. And you would have seen in that video how excellent um, a finish it produces like on this one here. And before I made the 24 volt one I made this version here. This was the first um, compound drive that I actually made. This one's a DC 12 volt motor and worm drive gearbox and you can buy those in various different um, speeds. I bought the 30 RPM one and I would just use that for doing the finish turn on the angle. They have excellent high torque and I'd just like to say um, I actually forgot to mention this last night that the electronics here that I've used that drive this 24 volt version will drive the 12 volt version as well and therefore you'll get variable speed if you use these electronics plus you'll have the forward and reverse and that's because i had this one here this is a 48 volt um, transformer which i used to use to drive a matchy fit motor and it has this um, potentiometer so I can actually turn the voltage down um, to go into this one. So it seems to work really well for both units, but I have got a better um, switching transformer coming with a digital display on it. And I shall be rigging this up um, for both these um, drives. So that's the um, 30 RPM one now. And I've set the um, transformer. and then I can go in reverse. So when I get that one, I'll show all of the um, wiring up here um, very soon. And just to show you that this unit here is uh, one I actually got off of Banggood for um, driving small DC motors. It can drive 9 to 60 volt, um, it's a motor controller. That's the forward and reverse switch on there and off in the middle. And then you have a potentiometer already wired up into that one. These are really low cost units on Banggood and I've put a link below so you can actually get one of those. I think they're about um, £7 for one of those which is excellent. And um, all you really need then is a transformer to sue. So to make this bracket up here for the um, start button all you need is a bit of uh, 1 8 uh, thick brass it's about 8 millimeter wide and um, roughly about 95 millimeter long and then I've drilled um, for 5 millimeter screws which is the actual um, screw hole on the back of the um, gearbox there um, two holes which are 40 millimeter exactly to the centers. I then got another 1 8 um, thick piece of brass uh, which is wide enough to actually drill a hole in to take the button and I've actually um, made this piece here ready to be bent over for that um, button. I'm going to use this piece of brass here and I've screwed this on with the um, five millimeter screws. And while it's on like that, I just bend this one out over like that. I then take it off from the gearbox again and put a piece of one eighth um, brass on the top of the angled aluminium in my vise there and put it in the um, vice like that, 
push that one right up to the angle there and then I just use my um, panel bead hammer to um, tidy that one up so it's a nice right angle down onto this um, one eighth brass and that ensures that when it goes onto the gearbox that there's a gap between the front of the gearbox and the brass here for this plate and I've marked that one up to bend that over at a right angle as well so get it nice and square in the vise And I forgot to um, mention this, but before you do all this um, bending work, make sure you um, buff up the brass and make sure that it's nice and clean, ready for soldering. And that one's done. So now I have my aluminium table set up in the vise and because I've been handling the brass, um, although it's um, been buffed up, I'm going to be soldering it so I just give the um, brass a quick polish up with some wire wool on the surfaces that I'm going to solder um, to get any uh, fingerprints or whatever off that one and the same with the other piece and then I'm going to use this um, old V block here just check which way that it's got to go on um, it's going to go on like that on the motor and that one's going to go down like that so put that on the um, V block like that and just square it up and I just eye it up with the gearbox there so that when it's actually um, screwed on the lugs here which stand a bit proud that the plate is going to be roughly central it's not critical but it looks nice um, if it is central and then I just use a low cost solder which is a 60-40 tin lead and when you're soldering brass like this and you touch the solder on you'll find that it goes right the way through the joint So it's that quick and easy to make a good solid bracket up for the actual start button. 
also when I'm soldering um, something like this I let it cool down naturally afterwards or just use an airline I don't actually drop it in water I then just give the bracket a quick clean up and take off the excess solder and do it with one of these um, Dremel stainless steel um, brushes I then give it a quick buff up to um, remove any solder, take off any sharp edges and shine up the surfaces that will show. And that's the bracket finished. So it can now be screwed onto the gearbox and it's 4mm screws. I did say at the beginning that they were 5mm but they're not. They are 4mm threads so if you make one of these up um, make sure you remember that. And 4mm screws like this um, are common because they're used on a lot of electrical items. So they're easy to find and get hold of or you can actually just buy some on eBay or whatever. And then the button can be dropped into place. Put the um, spring washer on the underside there and the screw on collar and I position it so that the um, terminals are going across like that So to keep the videos as short as possible, I'll make the adapter up um, in another video tomorrow. Um, like this one here, I make it out of brass. I like um, using brass, it's nice to work with and you can um, get some lovely finishes on it. And it makes tools look real good quality. So like I said, I'll um, show that one being made tomorrow, all good and well. And um, hopefully I'll have the other electronic equipment um, arrive soon um, to show you how it all goes together.